Don't smell it, it I, really I triggers won't. your gag reflex. If you told me that was a designer, I'd believe you. No, I don't, mm -mm. Elmer Fudd is quaking. Hi guys, welcome back to Clover Stuff. Hi. Hi. You guys have been commenting up a storm in our videos asking us to try AliExpress. And we have finally caved. We're doing it today. Mm -hmm. And I'm excited because I'm popping my AliExpress cherry for the first time. I have always thought of it as being like one of those online marketplaces. Obviously, I feel like Wish became huge and mm -hmm. kind of just took the cake, but essentially AliExpress is the same thing. It is an the online OG. marketplace, just like Wish, where you can buy everything. Like Wish, you can get your makeup, clothes, lawn mowers. Purses. <laughs> wind uh, chimes. Shopping I see a lot of a wind lot of chimes on shopping there. Shopping for a lot of wind chimes. I want it, I got it. One thing about AliExpress is it takes a really long time for things to ship. So yeah. we ordered these many moons ago. So mm -hmm. it has finally arrived. Yeah. <laughs> and this isn't any haul, you guys. Today, we are investigators. AliExpress has kind of gained some notoriety for duping seriously mm -hmm. designer things. They're not dupes. No. They're fakes. They're fakes. And They're fakes. I am curious to see if these fakes look a lot like the real thing. And we have the pictures of the original items in this packet right here in our investigation uh, materials. So we have the pictures of the original items so that we can really truly compare. We're pretty good at spotting a good deal or mm -hmm. not. Just call us Sherlock Holmes. You said that like it was punny. I know. <laughs> I really did, didn't I? All right, first item are these Gucci Fakes. I'm getting the, nauseous, the smell in this here is. This smell is unbelievable. So for comparison, these were $46, and we got them in a size nine, and the original Gucci rubber heels are $360. It took like over a month for mm -hmm. these to arrive. Mm -hmm. That's the thing with AliExpress. As soon as you order it, I hope it doesn't go out of style by the time you get it. On AliExpress, you are shown a picture of the slides, but there is absolutely no indication that they are designer, let alone Gucci. They have no logos on them. I'm gonna gag. AliExpress does not ever post the pictures because it's not allowed. Like, they will get flagged. Either Shanae and I both are pregnant right now, or this smells disgusting. It is so strong, it is actually like jarring. Like, it's shocking, you know? And I thought it was the plastic, but then our producer Silva said it's actually the shoe itself. Ugh. Don't smell it, it I, really I triggers won't. your gag reflex. No, don't like that. I will say these came in a <clears throat> Gucci duffel bag. I would say that this looks like trash. This, this is, bag is absolute trash. Like, the bag is not really what you bought it for though, right? You don't really yeah. care about this. So on first inspection, the color is very different than the original. The original is more of a baby blue sky yeah, color. like a dusty, it's not even dusty. The this one is, is more dusty. This one's more dusty. Mm -hmm. Is this more like a periwinkle? Mm -hmm. It is more periwinkle. It does have the Gucci made in Italy on the bottom of the sole of the shoe. And I feel like the sole of the shoe compared to the photo is pretty daggone. It's Dag so on good. good. It's I, so good. These things are heavy. I've they're heard so people heavy. talk about these Gucci slides and said that they're heavy with the real designer item. So mm. I don't, that might be par for the course for yeah. these. But I, I will say it looks and feels legit. It looks hearty. You could run from someone who's trying to abduct you in these. Like these would be a safe. Dude, you could throw this at their head. Yeah. And it would knock them out. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I am shocked. This is off to like a start that I didn't expect. There are a couple of different hat accessories in this video. This mm -hmm. first one is the very popular Prada bucket hat. It made a resurgence this year. I also think thanks to TikTok. The original Prada hat is around $500. And this one was only <clears throat> $14. Mm -hmm. And you can tell. Yeah. The original hat was more of a higher quality material. They had like a cotton lining. This lining is 100% poly polyester plastic. It's, yeah, it's not good. And it actually is from their sustainable collection. So this is kind of almost like a spit in the face to order 100%. this. A hundred percent. The fact that Prada is using like repurposed materials mm -hmm. and this is like, straight plastic. <laughs> and it also came with the Prada tag on it. And inside. On the website, when you look at this item, the Prada logo is just black. I will say from a branding perspective, it's really 
close. Right, except the tag looks like crap. Get get to the tag. Right, 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 the tag, I'm sorry, yeah. So this is the logo. <laughs> Sinead spotted this instantly. <laughs> <laughs> the P has seen better days. I literally was like, what is that? Like immediately. I just think with like shipping things too, especially when it's like these types of things, it just makes me question their practices mm -hmm. and their sustainability practices their and like quality. what they're spraying on things. They do spray a lot of clothes that they ship in from China with um, pesticides, yeah. which is why you should always wash your clothes when you buy them before you wear them because you don't know what those clothes might have been sprayed yeah, with. There are know. chemicals. I mean, I don't want to put it on my head for this, th what we've just been talking about, but I feel like I almost have to Yeah. in order to do I look like... I mean, you look freaking cute in that hat, doesn't she? Really? Yes, queen! I don't care if it has a fake Prada logo on it or not. This needs to be better quality even for $14. Do you feel like you have to wash your hands? Oh, you nasty. All right, moving right along to our next hat. Is this Chanel fake? It is a sun hat. Um, it is... It is no longer sold in stores, actually. It has been discontinued. I can't imagine why. <laughs> it has been seen on shows like Real Housewives and Lily Rose Depp also like got it popping. But it is now going on eBay for up to like $4,000. People really like this hat. I don't know why. Ugly. The pictures posted on the listing on AliExpress mm -hmm. were the actual photos of the hat from the Chanel website when Chanel was still carrying this Someone's hat. getting a cease and desist letter. That is unbelievable. Yeah. Based on this picture alone, just the, the way that this is done. The center, it's not centered. It's not centered, the font is different. Mm -hmm. It's actually different. Like this is a rounded font, the font is more square and I am a psycho when it comes to font. It is $16 though, so like for a sun hat. That $16 is a lot of money. Yeah, for a sun hat I feel like I could get a better sun hat than this. I, okay, listen, I'm sure the real one looks a hell of a lot better, but I will say that the reviews of this on AliExpress were so good. People absolutely freaked out over this fake because they said it looked incredible. But I will say, Elmer Fudd is quaking. Oh my God, yeah. I'm hunting wabbits. <laughs> it doesn't smell, so that's like a plus side of some of these yeah, other items. because it's, it's made out of chair. <laughs> you know how I feel about furniture clothes. It's like a basket. Hat. Honestly, sh you should go plant a plant in oh there. Oh my god, that's actually a great idea. Um, all right, well, listen, I know I'm being a pooper, but I just want to, I want the world to know. Every party has a pooper, that's a V invite the new party pooper, oh, party pooper. <laughs> Ever seen a famous person's home tour, just lounging in their living room? They always have one of these unrealistically expensive Hermes blankets. It's Hermes. It's Hermes. 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 Yeah. Hermes. Yeah. yeah, I'm from North Carolina. We don't. I'd be saying Hermes. This on the website didn't have the logo, the H on it. It just had the squares. And it's supposed to be a cashmere wool blend, the original. And the original goes for, um, let me just check my sources here. Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's about $3,000. Uh, but this one came in at a whopping $40. It's dual sided. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? Aren't all blankets dual sided? What the hell is wrong with me? I meant it's reversible. Got it. Cool. As you can see, on this side, it is a coral border with a weird taupey gray inside middle section. And on this side, mm. uh, it is that weird taupey gray border with the coral center. Right, so I've seen one of these in person and um, it didn't feel like this. No, I don't, mm -mm. no, 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 no. It feels it waxy. It weird. It feels, you're <gasps> literally wrapped yourself I in it. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it feel like it's been dipped in something? Like it's it a little bit um, of that, I know what you mean, that waxy texture. It feels like silicone on my hands. Yeah, I feel like you're right, there is something about it that's, uh, it's a little bit residue-y. It's sprayed with the finest of chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> so cute though, but obviously like, I feel like it's a little bit lackluster. Let's really we model it. It's pretty large and in charge. 
I mean, I feel like this would be a good throw size. Yes, definitely. I mean, I think it's bigger than most throws. You can just tell even from the picture how soft it is. I know. This is obviously not wool and cashmere. I'm gonna venture a guess. It also is shedding like crazy. Crazy. I no. I really, yeah. It, it, it looks a lot different. And it. Do, I, I would recommend this. If it, this was a $15 blanket at Target, I wouldn't recommend it. Moving on to accessories. So we have this Tiffany and Co. Pendant necklace. A regular Tiffany Co. necklace goes for about 175 bucks. This one is $25. We actually were able to get Bridget to bring in her Tiffany necklace so we could compare. And um, Bridget's just to let you guys know, these this is an old school trend. Like these necklaces have been around for a while. So Bridget's is old. It's a keepsake for her. Yeah. And so it's a little tarnished, but she has her initial in it. You can see the Tiffany logo on it. Like AliExpress sent a silver polishing cloth with it. Maybe we should use it on Bridget's yeah, necklace. We should. Maybe and see if it works. That's actually pretty legit that they sent actually, this. Actually, it kind of works. Let me see. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Bridget. She's gonna be thrilled. Oh my gosh, it really looks better too. Let me see. Like the. Chain. Oh, this is really good for me. A quarter. Uh, can somewhere. you take over and I'll yeah, do I'll this? I'll take over. Oh, okay, interesting. It does come with the Tiffany and Co. box, but it comes in its own little pouch, which I honestly think. It's kind of nice. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Is that the right color? Does it match the same pouch that Bridget's came in? Right. This is cheap. I'm just going to tell you right now, the quality is something you get from like Forever 21. What? Oh, just yeah. Kidding. Yeah, right. <laughs> the writing is on the charm. So there's that. And then the charm, the other charm is colored. The chain feels super cheap. But I will say, I don't know if it looks cheap. Right. Which is really like from kinda, far away, are you really gonna know, you know? It's so tiny, it's so dainty, you probably won't know the difference. Well, I cannot explain to you how effing satisfying this is. You don't me. have to, I know, I can you just see can it you, in your eyes. Yeah. I would pay $25 <gasps> just for this silver polishing cloth. It is magic. We should do a whole video on this. No, thank you. We're moving on to our purse category, which originally had three purses in it. Purse-eye? Purses, purses, yep. Just purse. purse. purse -eye. <laughs> Two of our purses, purse-eye, did not make it, unfortunately. They're somewhere lost in translation, lost somewhere on a mm -hmm. ship or in mm -hmm. customs. But this YSL purse did make it. It came in a lovely YSL, E Saint Laurent, a duster bag. Mm -hmm. The original purse costs around 20 to 2400 bucks if you bought the real deal. Um, and I wish I could tell you that this was like a $40 steal, but it's over a hundred bucks. This is a pretty damn good purse. It is super high quality. It feels soft. Oh my gosh, I am impressed. With or without the YSL logo, this feels really, really nice. If you told me that was a designer, I'd believe you. I'm really impressed of how many details went into this bag. Uh, it is actually kind of wild. It's kind of nice. I kind of want to keep touching it for the rest of the It's really video. soft. It's really soft. I don't know, it feels like a little pillow. Smell it. <clears throat> it's not a horrible smell. Mm. It actually kind of smells like a bag. It smells like raw. <laughs> Goodness. Oh my God, it died. I like this a lot. It's yeah. a really good size. It has, what does it say? Mm, it yeah. says Saint Laurent Petty. And it's got the Saint Laurent logo on the inside too, and even on the buckle. On the buckle. Wow. It's yeah. on the strap as well. Wow. It's and it's heavy. It's like a hefty bag. It has um, inside. It has like a, a a coin purse, change purse in the middle. And honestly, I feel like Sinead, you would like this. This is also an investment. It's over a hundred bucks. That it's, is so expensive. That's a lot of money for a dupe. And I think that's a risky move. If you're gonna order for something like AliExpress, you don't know what you're gonna get when yeah, it shows $100. up. $100? Honestly, if you can afford this, you should be able to afford the real thing. Cause I can't afford a hundred dollar risk. Like I'm not gonna throw a hundred dollars into AliExpress and hope something good right. pops up. Yeah. I think we had a lot of hits today. That's the truth. <laughs> As far as being a really good copycat, uh, <clears throat> fake, you know, let us know in the comments if you've yeah. ever tried AliExpress, what your reaction has been from it, um, because we could also do this video again, you know? 